Hi everyone. Um, yes, welcome to Data. Um, so um, I'm Stephen Monk. I'm director here at Data, and um, I'm just really, really pleased to um, to have Martin Hyde's exhibition um, on the walls that came in yesterday. Um, and I first met Martin at Arcor. Actually, he was doing a residency um, there a good few months ago, and I just, I, I just really love. The work and I really you know kind of connected with it and the scale of it um, and I, I know that Mark works from place and you know depression plays a big part in, in, in the, the inspiration and you can really feel that you know the, the words of isolation scale um, and it's very very moving I think and and it's what was great is to see this whole collection of um, Martin's work hanging on the walls now, so the stuff that was at Art Court looking amazing, but the journey and seeing the journey and, and being able to see the kind of the breadth, the light, the darkness, and, and, and the mood, and, and I think that's just a really special thing. So, anyway, I'll stop by, but I'm really pleased to have you in the building and, and you work on the walls. So, thank you very much, Martin. Cheers. Thank you. Um, so, I, I, I'm Martin, uh, like Stephen, um, I'm a contemporary artist, originally from Derby, um, but now living in Ashbourne. Um, my work's about sort of feelings and emotions, uh, things like love, loss, isolation, hope, self-worth, and I guess reflection. Ultimately, the work is about people and the sort of landscape we inhabit. So a bit about me, um, I've sort of always been creative in some way, whether it's my bands or as a painter and an artist. Um, I was diagnosed with clinical depression sort of in my late twenties, um, and that sort of informs the work. Um, my depression is sort of cyclic in nature. Um, it's unrelated to what's going on about me. So for example, when I say my father was really poorly, that was sadness, but that's really different to depression. Um, so, um, you know, it's, it's something that's going to be with me for the rest of my life, um, but that's fine, you know, I've learned to live with it. Um, in terms of, like, managing my depression, um, one of the first things was about honesty, and I was being honest with my family and friends. Um, and in a way, that's kind of true of my art, about being, if you're honest about it, people can understand it, and I hope, you know, people will sort of get what it's about and probably relate to it. Um, I still have lows and stuff, uh, highs and lows, um, but ultimately, I, I'd love to manage them and they're kind of under control because of some of the steps I've taken. Um, one of the consultants I spoke to said it's kind of... Um, we were telling him about it, and uh, me and my wife were there, and we were saying how I, I had these manic, really sort of productive periods, um, but then I kind of burn out, sort of thing. And um, he was saying, well, you wouldn't want to really cure that. That's not really something you want to cure. So I do see it as a bit of a gift. And a curse. So this exhibition is two years of my life. Um, it kind of even surprised me when I put it all together, because as an artist, I've got a little painting studio. Um, in that lady's house over there. <laughs> um, but it's a small room, so you don't really see the work all together. Um, and as my wife said, it's a bit of a roller coaster living with me, you know, because there is dramatic highs and lows, and you can kind of see that when it's all put together. Um, so, so really, in terms of viewing the exhibition, I kind of wanted to feel like a journey. So you sort of journey through ups and downs, and you know, good bits, bad bits, bits about love, and, and things like that. So I am referring to my notes a little bit, just because I'm very forgetful. So big thanks to Stephen um, for giving me the opportunity here. Um, Mark and Jeff, who were the men who hung <laughs> all this work. Um, they were really, they, I don't think they thought it would go up and they ran out of screws because there were so many things. <laughs> um, and sort of basically the team at Daydar, thank you for that. Um, big thank you to Rashid and Zahir who gave me the opportunity at Art Core, which led on to this. Um, and, um, you know, all my friends and family, all the people who support me, you guys for coming. Um, 
my wonderful wife and my boys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the show and uh, thanks for coming. Yeah.